Well, today's big story, the one that I saved for the uh, 4 o'clock hour roughly for publishing, is about Rick and Morty co-creator Dan Harmon going on the run, deleting his Twitter. Now, I think there is some sort of option to just hide your Twitter for like 30 days. Uh, so I'm not sure. Everyone keeps saying that he deleted it, but uh, we'll see if it really remains gone. Now, this is, of course in the red pushback, I will say. Uh, I know it was really divides a lot of my viewers. Um, I think at least we could all agree that uh, some folks feel like this is them holding the left responsible, holding them to the same standards that they would hold the right to. Uh, I've been on record saying that uh, I would prefer that uh, we don't use their tactics, that uh, we try to rise above it. Uh, but I would be lying if I didn't say that. It felt pretty good. To, it feels good to, to, to get some people, to see some people get their comeuppance. I did not shed a tear over Mr. Mr. Gunn's termination, uh, being uh, seeing as though he so gleefully supported the firing of Roseanne. Now, I don't want to compare the two situations exactly, but... Uh, they are the same in that online outrage mobs demanded action, and they were both fired. Can, if we can agree on that, then I think we're headed in the right direction. Now, over the weekend, um, a old Dan Harmon clip surfaced, one in which uh, he um, does some horrible things. Uh, it is supposed to be dark comedy, I suppose. Uh, some people are using it uh, to paint him as something, something that is just about the worst thing you can call anybody. And uh, I have a theory, a little theory about why it seems like Dan Harmon might be an easy topic. And that's because he says stuff like this. It is so low that the worst people in the world find it, and that's where they rally. And it's so low, we have gotten so bad that a third of our country has gotten there. 29% of the people are fucking Nazis. Let's face it, that's a minority. We can beat them. We have to say, I'm not a Nazi, though. Being a far-left crazy person makes you an easy target. You say a lot of absurd things. Um, painting 30% of the country in, in that light uh, tells me that you do not think with logic and that you live your life based on emotion. Um, Rick and Morty is a show that I enjoyed for one or two seasons and then it kind of got a little played out. But if you're a fan of the show, just like all things, I would generally try to separate the art from the artist. Now, in this case, I wasn't able to do that simply because Dan Harmon was such an un insufferable prick online that I just could I found myself not enjoying the show anymore as much. And maybe uh, the more I think about it, the, the, the more I look back, that might have had a lot to do with me all of a sudden finding the show unfunny. Um, or maybe I had just finally gotten too big brained for it. But you see the narrative, of course. Uh, that he deleted his Twitter account after fake uh, baby video <laughs> goes viral. Uh, it didn't really go viral naturally. I think it, it was a subject of the uh, a conservative push to hold the left's feet to the fire. Again, not going to feel bad for Dan Harmon. There will be people that watch this video that will still post in the comments below that I'm defending him. I am not. Um, but it, it raises the question. It's a slippery slope. Look, if I post a Pepe meme and that doesn't make me a Nazi, then making jokes about even the most heinous of things do, does not make you that thing. Uh, I've told racist jokes in my life, um, but I'm not a racist. Uh, and I've told sexist jokes in my life, but I'm not a sexist. I think it's hard to apply that same level of thinking when you're talking about 
honestly, probably some of the worst shit ever. Uh, I don't find these kind of jokes funny. Um, but, you know, not every piece of comedy is for every single person. I, I don't know. Um, the video surfaced online. Uh, the creator of NBC's community deleted his official Twitter account. Harmon is the latest major Hollywood figure to garner attention for having produced online content making light of pedophilia. Um, last week, Disney ser severed ties with Guardians of the Galaxy director James Gunn after several posts joking about the sort of thing resurfaced. In one blog post, which Gunn published in 2010, the director claimed to have orgasmed over a video featuring uh, prepubescent children in which he said was sent to him by a friend named Houston Huddleston. Uh, the video some defenders have suggested is a girl's choir singing the Divinals pop hit, I Touch Myself. That's not a defense thing. That's the truth. Um, that is the link. Um, again, the mob continues. Last week, old posts on Twitter by actor, comedian Michael Ian Black about this sort of thing went viral, resurfacing on social media. Black's controversial tweets are filled with innuendos about children, including so-called jokes, having sleepovers with young girls. Look, I don't find these jokes funny. And I'm going to show you just how heinous Dan Harmon's mind can go. Hi, I'm Dan Harmon. You're about to watch my controversial new pilot, Daryl. Now, I have to warn you, I originally made it with Showtime uh, for their audience because it's a little groundbreaking for normal people to handle. But maybe you'll surprise me. Good luck. See, I think this is part of what people are attaching onto. Uh, maybe you'll surprise me. Uh, this is a little groundbreaking for normal people to handle. Uh, I would say the concept probably m makes most people uncomfortable. Uh, but... Uh, Let's see what you got, Dan. No, Admiral, thank you. All right, it's bedtime. Thank you for being such a good patient. Stick tight, okay? For taking all the sleeping pills I prescribed to you. So that later tonight, when I'm crawling in your window, I can count on you to sleep like a baby. Well, I do everything but... And that's enough of that. If you're wondering, yes, he does take his pants all the way off, mount the, ba the baby doll, and thrust on top of it as a crying baby sound plays in the background. Not something I consider funny, uh, but maybe he did. Uh, the thing is, jokes aren't about what's it, it's it's difficult because it is literally making jokes like it's like making 9-11 jokes which we all do now well many of us do you have the right to not like a joke or to not uh want to hear that kind of stuff or see that kind of stuff um, but at the same time Did Dan Harmon, I mean, you can find him revolting and not watch his television shows, which I assume many of you will after seeing this. But this is the clip that he's running from, a clip that was published publicly for many years on a website used by him and many other people out in Hollywood uh, used to get some sort of exposure. I'm assuming it was some sort of clip where he was trying to be over the top, ultra edgy. I don't know if I would go there, but uh, that's not for me to decide. Uh, I think there's a lot of people attaching, they're using this, but it's for the children. Think of the kids, think of the kids uh, mentality uh, as a vehicle to smear somebody they see as a political opponent. That's my opinion. It's also my opinion that you live by the sword and you die by the sword. And that if you choose to take part 
in one way enforcement of censorship, uh, then you deserve every bit that comes back at you. My question is, how many jokes can you make? How many uncomfortable jokes can you make that are an acceptable number? That's an often an argument I get with the James Gunn situation. Well, he didn't make just one. He made like 15. Okay, well, how many does it take uh, before you're reaching summary judgment about that person? Um, hundreds of people uh, pissed off with my last video saying I was defending a, basically a convicted child predator uh, when no charges ever have been filed, not a single credible accusation that we know of. I will. You show me the evidence and I will stand with you against it. There isn't anybody in the gaming world that's done more to fight this sort of thing. In case you didn't know, it was our crusade that instated background checks every local game store in the country to keep predators out. I am the furth furthest thing from a sympathizer or an enabler. But my point is, you can't have it both ways. If you stood up and defended Count Dankula, saying he made Nazi jokes and this and that, I mean, how many shots, how long did it take to shoot that video? How many, how many minutes of footage do you need before you feel calling, comfortable calling someone a Nazi? It's the same thing. We can't sink to their level, and I understand why it's happening, but I'm interested what you genuinely think in the comment section down below. Is this the path that we want to go down? Because make no mistake about it, they will strike back. And it will become a mutually assured destruction. Thank you.